creation groans for the revealing of the sons of God. His holy invasion for a righteous revolution forged in his fire. Weaponized for warfare, roaring in his rest, and dancing in his reign. Glory, glory. Welcome everyone to the Cimarron Tribe. I'm Kelly Marie, the founder of the Cimarron Tribe Ministry, and I'm so blessed that you are joining here with me today to receive a powerful, weighty word from the Holy Spirit. And I praise God for those of you who are being led by the Holy Spirit to receive this word that is going to edify you, strengthen you, bring healing and restoration, and empower your heart in this season. And also the word that is being released is so exciting because it is all about 5783. In the Hebraic calendar, we have already entered the head of the new year. It is the appointed season of the Lord. And so I am so excited about the message from the heart of God to his remnant. I am so excited about this beautiful, deep prophetic teaching that the Holy Spirit has for you today, that the Holy Spirit has for me today. So I want to welcome all of you from my Facebook community and here on my YouTube community. I want to welcome all of my awesome subscribers and those of you who happen to be new viewers that the Holy Spirit has led you. You've been blessed. You've been receiving confirming words that have edified and strengthened you in your covenant with Christ. It is my desire that the Lord fans the flame of intimacy that you share with Jesus Christ. That is the purpose of what I do, is to make sure that your covenant is strong. It's a concrete covenant that cannot be rooted, uprooted, that cannot be shaken in the name of Jesus, but that you are strengthened and that you fall more deeply in love with Jesus Christ. And that's what the Cimarron tribe is all about, that you return to the way of the Holy Spirit, that you return to the wild, which is the divine nature of the Spirit of the living God, that you partake of that, that you're liberated from man-made doctrine, that you're liberated from religious structures that were not orchestrated nor designed by the Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. So I just want to welcome you and again tell you that uh, tonight is a very powerful teaching that I'm going to be releasing from the Holy Spirit in what the Lord has deposited on the inside of me to serve you. And I'm so excited. And also, I want to just make this statement, and I need to make sure I say this every time I do a weekly broadcast, that as I've been praying and really uh, just receiving the direction of the Lord, the Lord has quickened my spirit, and I'm so excited about it because... I'm ending uh, my part-time nannying position at the end of this year, but every Monday I will be going live at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time every week. And every Tuesday, we will have the morning stretch at 7 a.m. The purpose of this is that when the prophetic word of the Lord is released with the prophetic teaching from the Holy Spirit on Monday night at 5 p.m., the morning stretch is going to be absolutely an extension of that where you're going to be, your heart's going to be conditioned and, and you're going to be stretched by the Spirit of God to really embrace that word that cultivates and conditions conditions your heart so that you really receive what the Lord is saying to you, that it's not some quick word that you just get excited about, but it's a word that conditions your heart and really prepares you to receive what the Spirit of God is releasing to you through the power of His anointing and also what comes out of the storehouse of heaven that releases a harvest. Glory to God. So, 
Tonight, I'm excited to dive in. And again, we're going to go through such a journey. And let me just say this, that every Monday, it's going to be a lengthy broadcast because it's the word with the teaching. So the word of God is going, the prophetic word is going to go forth, but the teaching is going to cultivate the wisdom and the knowledge that you need, the wisdom and the counsel of the Holy Spirit that you need so that that word is not quickly uprooted by the tactics or devices of the enemy. And I believe that is very important that when we prophesy the word of God, there needs to be a cultivation of that word with wisdom and counsel from the Holy Spirit. So you are not, you are not uh, pulled away from the word of the Lord, that you have such understanding and that you, you can recognize the anointing of Christ operating from that word in your life and you recognize it's not the enemy. There is something specific that God is doing to empower you, to deliver you, right? To strengthen you, to restore you and to bring forth your harvest. So that's important. What I'm going to do is I want to introduce a new instrument sound and I've put the description I put the name of this in the description of this broadcast and I'm going to actually play it now and I'm giving credit to this amazing artist who is just they are lay down lovers of the Lord it is Kimberly and Alberto Rivera and so I'm gonna go ahead and begin to play this while we go and just flow with the Holy Spirit tonight thank you Jesus and please let me know before we really dive in tonight, let me know that you can hear the instrumental music. It is the frequency of heaven. It is absolutely all about just bringing you into a deeper state of rest, of stillness, to receive the word of the Lord and to feel the tangible presence of God as you're listening, as your spiritual ears and eyes are open to receive from the Holy Spirit tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, I want to make sure it's not too loud. It's not overpowering my voice and what the Lord wants me to release to you tonight. Praise God. Thank you. Is it D? You can hear. Praise God. Okay. I just want to wait a few more minutes just to make sure. And the name of this instrumental piece that I have given credit to is called Breaking Light. The Lord led me to it last night. It is absolutely fitting for what the Lord is releasing to us tonight. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Can you hear it well? Praise God. And again, the title of this beautiful instrument of heaven, that just this instrumental piece, the frequency of heaven from the heart of God, flowing from the heart of God, flowing, it's the symphony of heaven, is again called Breaking Light. So thank you, Kimberly and Alberta Rivera, for releasing this in your intimacy with the Lord. That's an outflow to the body. Glory to God. Welcome. Thank you, Sea Lion, for being here, my amazing moderator. And those of you um, that are going to be joining, thank you for all of my moderators that are here tonight. Thank you, Jesus, again, for those here that you're drawing and leading to receive this word. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Amber, welcome. Josie, Misty, Kat, thank you, Lord. All of the new viewers that are here, thank you, Jesus. Judy, D, Joyce, welcome. You guys, I'm going to go ahead and pray because this is going to be a weighty word tonight. A weighty word from the Lord tonight. Again, 5783, the year of the bamboo tree. There's deep revelation and there's a deep impartation that is coming from the Holy Spirit through this word. <sighs> Jesus, we love you. Abba, Father, we love you. We adore you. We worship you. We exalt your holy name. We glorify you. We glorify you and we praise you and we thank you for all that you have done in the year of 2022. We thank you for all that was necessary, that needed to take place, that needed to be cultivated in the roots, 
in our covenant with you. Thank you, Lord. We glorify you. And Holy Spirit, I just thank you that you fill my mouth with your words that you want to release to your people, that you release words of wisdom and revelation and whatever you prophetically want to decree, that your river of life will flow out of my mouth to saturate the hearts of your people, that they will feel the tangible presence of the Lord, that they will feel the tangible presence of the Lord with every word that is released. Oh, that it'll be so saturated within their very well-being. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father, that you are governing the atmosphere of heaven that you've set before us this night, that we are surrounded and saturated in your perfect love and your perfect peace and your truth and your joy. Holy, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for a tangible outpouring of your anointing that's bringing healing and restoration tonight. Wherever your people need healing and divine restoration, Lord, let it flow. Let it flow as the river of life that you are begins to move and brood over the hearts of your people. In Jesus' name. Whoo! Wow, glory to God. Glory to God. <laughs> okay. Wow. Whew. I want to wait just a few moments. Welcome, Tiffany, another awesome moderator here. Welcome. Bless you. Thank you so much for serving tonight. Hallelujah. I want to wait a few minutes so you can just, just listen, just listen to the heavenly symphony flowing, Whew. bringing you in a deep state of peace and stillness and rest to receive. Holy, holy, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for opening up our hearts to receive, Whew. to be saturated Whew. with your presence, Whew. with your love. Your love for us, oh, it runs deep, it runs deep, holy. Father, I thank you for moving and binding every distraction that wants to release itself on this broadcast. I bind and dismantle any distraction, anything that is released through the demonic realm. It is shut, sealed shut through the blood of Yeshua. Whoo! Right now. I thank you that it's dismantled and it's disabled through the power of your love and your truth and your peace, Heavenly Father. Wow, wow. Some of you I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, you're going to go right into encounter. You're going to go right into a divine encounter on this broadcast tonight as the word is being released and we're just receiving and basking in his presence. Whoo! Welcome, Lena. Whoo! Welcome, Andrew. Welcome, Joshua. 
Shobra saki adarabba soto, rendi andarabba ro sobre siki ataye. There's such a sweet fragrance flowing from heaven right now. There's such a sweet, potent fragrance coming out of the very heart valve of the Lord. Whoo! The vav. Yod hey vav hey. Yod hey vav hey. Coming out of the very life, the very essence of the Lord of hosts. Araba sobra seke. There is a stillness with the sweet fragrance of his love so deep for you being released right now, preparing your heart, saturating your heart to receive from the Holy Spirit tonight. Glory, glory to the Lamb of God. Glory, glory to your name. We release such sweet adoration from our heart straight to your heart tonight, Lord. We release such sweet adoration from our heart straight to your heart, O lover of our soul. Our healer, our provider, our protector, our strength, our strong tower, our armor, our deliverer, whoo, I even see in the spirit right now, I see Jesus taking several of you by the hand and taking you into these sound waves of his glory, sound waves like the oceans, the ocean waves. It's the sound waves of his love. And the Lord is taking you in and he's saying, swim deep, just swim deep wave after wave in my love for you Whoo! in my peace that surpasses all understanding wave after wave Let the waves of my love saturate your heart. Let the waves of my peace saturate your heart. Let the waves of my love, let the waves of my peace bring a stillness to your heart. Let the waves of my love and the waves of my peace and the truth that I am Bring healing to your heart. Wow. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. See, the Lord wants to take you out into the deep. And I want to say this as the Holy Spirit is leading me. The Lord said this to me 11 months ago, and I released it to you, his remnant. But the Lord wants me to remind you this night. He said, while the church has been screaming about the deep state in the government, focusing on the enemy, my remnant, my true bride, has been focusing on returning to the face of the deep, entering a deep state of rest in me, a deep state of restoration in me, a deep state of stillness in me, a deep state of surrender in the spirit of the living God that I am.
I want many of you just to take this moment and begin to release this as a declaration out of your mouth. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. And this is what the Father was saying to me. That as many in the church were constantly speaking about the deep state and the evil and the satanic realms, the remnant who is truly set apart who understands how to enter the rest of God. Though we were in a resting place, we didn't enter a deep state of rest. And so 2022 has been returning to a deep state of rest, a deep state of restoration, a deep state of stillness, a deep state of surrender. Hallelujah. In the Lord. And in this deep state, we did not see anything manifesting except for within. We didn't see anything breaking through. We didn't see any harvest happening because we were called to a deep state of rest and stillness to return to our roots, to go into the roots in our relationship with the Spirit of the living God. This is where the Lord brought me back to a very holy word when he said a new wave of holiness is coming upon my house, no longer will the enemy be able to hide and linger quiet as a mouse. For this new wave of holiness that I'm releasing over my house is my sovereign stillness to return my people, to return my bride back to the face of the deep. where I keep my promises, where I cultivate my promises. And in the very year of 2020, when the Spirit of the Lord began to speak these words to me, He took me into an encounter. And I'm sharing this with you because I'm telling you, those who hear the Spirit of God, you're going to stay to receive the deep word about the bamboo tree. It is all connected, but we've got to flow with the Holy Spirit. So here is where the Lord began to take me into this encounter. And many of you remember it. The encounter where my feet were on the soil and Lucifer was standing on the bank on the bank, like the bank of a riverbed, and my feet began to sink. I began to start sinking and going underground. And I could not understand what was happening. And the Spirit of the Lord began to speak, and He said, Daughter, He said, Nothing is falling apart. Everything is falling into place from the secret place. And He says, I'm bringing you deep. I'm taking you deep beneath the soil, in the roots. I'm taking you deep to unearth the deepest revelation of my spirit, the deepest wisdom and knowledge and understanding of my glory, of my nature. I'm taking you deep. And as I begin to sink and disappear, I was underground. In a split second, I ended up on the top of the mountain. On the top of the mountain. And, and Lucifer's jaw began to drop. His jaw dropped. It was a jaw-dropping moment. And he thought to himself, how in the world 
How in the world did she get to the top of the mountain suddenly? How did this happen? This is impossible. The Spirit of God wants to speak to you tonight and say to you, there were several times that the enemy wanted to torment you and wanted to make you feel that you were not obeying the Lord or that you missed God when you did not see any advancement or any acceleration or any real growth or harvest or breakthrough, but you begin to see it in the lives of other people around you and you didn't understand. You felt like, man, what did I do? Where did I miss God? And especially those of you that are called as forerunners, as pioneers to pave the way in a new orchestration of the Holy Spirit and something that God is establishing that has not been established in the earth before. It is unique. And the Lord said, all this time, I was simply returning you to the deep to the deep. I want to say this, it's very important that the Lord began to speak to me and there was an intercessor that connected with me in the year of 2019. And in 2019, I will never forget this, she began to speak into my life and she said, Kelly, she said, my God, she said, what the Lord is cultivating in you is so deep that these roots are going so deep down like an artesian well. These roots are going so deep down that when the enemy tries to come and mess with what God will establish through you that will go to the nations and reach millions of people, that he will not be able to even cause what has been deeply rooted to, to budge. It will be immovable and, and, and it will not be shakable in the presence of the enemy. But she said, Kelly, she said, what God is doing is he's making these roots go so, so deep, 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 deep in the ground like an artesian well because an artesian well is a well that does not need to be pumped. The well naturally causes water to flow from itself because it's so deep, it's so deep in the earth that water naturally springs up from this well because it is dug down so deep. It is not like an ordinary well. And so the Lord speaks about the roots and he says, he's causing your roots to go so deep. They are thick, they are strong, and they are going so deep because of the calling, because of the way that God is gonna catapult you and because of what he's established that's gonna give him all the glory. This is why you are in this place where it looks like nothing is happening. No matter your obedience, nothing is happening. And it's something because when God, when, when God tells you to do something and you're walking in obedience, you can never jump ahead of God. You can't manipulate the move of God. You can do nothing but wait on the Spirit of God to establish what only comes by the Spirit from heaven. And the Lord is speaking into your life tonight to say to you what has been so deeply rooted, what has been so deeply rooted is now coming into a season where it will now rise and be released. And I'm going to talk about the deep meaning of 5783 in just a moment but I needed you to hear that all these years God was focusing 
on the roots going deep, 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 deep. And I'm going to give scripture that states this that is so powerful. Because see, we, the remnant, and I'm going to say this that I hear from the Holy Spirit. We, the remnant of God, we are evergreen. We are evergreen. And I want you to hear me. There are many plants. There are many plants. Just like there are many Christians. But let me tell you something. A plant that is evergreen has deep roots, has a deep root system that continues to nourish the plant to stay flourishing and to stay vibrant all year round. That is the remnant of God. The remnant of God is different from just Christians who follow Jesus Christ in their everyday lives, who, who have a relationship with Jesus, but they are not set apart for a serious mandate on their life that actually will be an outflow to many people because of the sphere of influence that you're called to. So the remnant are the ones that are the lay down lovers. They are the ones that are literally the living sacrifice, that their life is a message. Their life preaches the gospel. And so the Lord is saying that the remnant are my evergreens, that they continue to bear fruit even in a drought. Even in a dry season, they continue to bear fruit. They continue. They do not wither. And whatever their hand touches, it prospers because of the way that I move by my spirit and I lead them in unusual, unique ways that man says is foolish. Glory to God. So now we're going to go in to the deep meaning of 5783 and then we're going to go into the powerful word about the bamboo tree and why is the Lord saying this is the year of the bamboo tree okay glory be to God also something quickly that the Lord reminded me of is many of you in the remnant who have been anointed with a strong prophetic mantle let me say this to you that the remnant will reflect the timeline of the lord in the corporate body so when god is prophetically releasing a word that is corporate many people who have a prophetic mantle right apostolic prophetic mantle it is the ministry of the holy spirit your life and different events and times and seasons are a reflection of that now prophetic word, okay? So you carry the prophetic word in due season. When the Lord prophesies, like he's saying now, this is the year of the bamboo tree, I'm going to share with you to give you understanding because of the prophetic mantle on my life. This is so strategic and I'm divinely on the timeline of the Lord. Why is this? Because when I tell you about the beautiful story of the Chinese bamboo tree, it takes five years. At the end of the fifth year, all of a sudden, where there was nothing that broke out of the ground, all of a sudden, that bamboo shoots up to a hundred feet 90 to a hundred feet within five weeks it grows three feet in 24 hours a day there is such unusual radical growth that hits this bamboo plant but it takes it five years before anything breaks through the ground now let me go back to my timeline God took me out of being a professional full-time nanny. Even though I was walking with the Lord, I had a beautiful covenant relationship with Christ. I was involved in different ministries, yes. But when he called me to establish a full-time ministry, it was the year of March 2018. 
And from March 2018 to this year and entering into 2023 is exactly five years. So listen, take hold of this and how this pertains to you. What was God saying to you? What was God cultivating in you in the year of 2018, in the beginning of 2018? And how does it pertain to this year as we've entered into 2023 with what he's about to really release and establish that is going to absolutely be so unbelievably radical and unusual and supernatural in the way that it grows. Woo! Oh my goodness. Okay. Amber says five years was coming to my heart lately too. Oh my goodness. Wow. Erica says me too. March 28th, 2018. Wow. Okay. This is for the remnant. You are the remnant. God has called the, me to minister to the remnant. So this is going to speak volumes to you. Okay. Now we're going to go into 5783. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord led me to a lady named Christine Vales. You can find her on YouTube, Christine Vales. And she has what's known as a chalkboard teaching about each Hebraic New Year. She goes into deep teaching. But what the Lord wanted me to share with you from her teaching is this. 5782 was about, and this is so confirming to what the Lord had me prophesy. 5782 was about deep rest and receiving from the Lord. Deep rest and receiving. So there isn't, it's not about harvest. It's not about breakthrough. It's not about really releasing and really stepping out to do a lot of ministry. 5782 was the year, right, in 2022, where we were called to enter a state of deep rest, really deep, because of the deep healing, because of the deep internal inner restoration of our inner strength and really getting our roots to be regenerated and strengthened. So 5782 was about deep rest and receiving from the Lord. But 5783 is about rising and releasing what comes from the Lord that the Lord deposited within you. So all those heavenly deposits that he released into you, even all, listen, even all these five years ago, all these heavenly deposits that the Lord protected, he put inside of you, he didn't allow it to reach or impact, uh, 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 you know, like the multitudes or a lot of people. The Lord was absolutely cultivating a holy hush and a sovereign stillness in us to go to these deep places of healing with him, of rekindling our intimacy and our chemistry with him. Glory to God. But now it's about rising and releasing. And this is going to be connected to the bamboo tree. Woo! Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to talk about Rabbi Jason Sobel, S-O-B-E-L, and Sean Boltz, the Lord led me to this broadcast to really give you a meaty revelation about the Hebraic calendar and the meaning of 5783. This is very deep, so I want you to just kind of really take it in. If you want to take notes, take notes. I encourage you to do that because this is powerful. And how many of you remember... When I did my morning stretch broadcast, I believe it was like episode two or three, and the Holy Spirit began to move, and Jesus began to say, I am removing what fenced you in with false doctrine or man-made doctrine. I am taking you into a greater expanse, into a vast victory. I am taking you into a greater expanse, right? 
enlarging your territory. It's a new dance in this great expanse, wide open spaces from secret places in my presence. So this is powerful with what 5783 means. It means spiritual abundance and expansion. And what was so profound to me was Rabbi Jason Sobel said that the numeric value of 83 in Hebrew means expansion. Expansion. Even the word breakthrough in Hebrew also means expansion. And they connected this to the blessing of Jacob when the Lord said to Jacob in Genesis 28, verse 10 through 17, Jacob, you will expand from the north, the south, the east, and the west, your descendants, because of your descendants, your offspring. And he speaks about how he's going to bless Jacob through his seed. And this was considered a decade of breakthrough. That the moment Jacob had this encounter with the angels ascending and descending from the throne room of heaven, this was the moment that the Lord said, now I'm going to bless you. And I'm going to, I'm going to, you're going to expand through your offspring, through what I placed in you, the seed I placed within you. So the Lord is saying in this year, get ready for a great expansion. Get ready for great expansion. Get ready for great expansion. Whoo! My God, the numerical value, okay, of the number 83 in Hebrew also is connected with the womb and the word fullness. So 83 and 5783 speaks of the fullness coming out of the womb. When God speaks of the blessing of marriage, he says in Genesis 1.28, for the power of divine marriage that he orchestrated from his throne, be fruitful and increase in number, fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. So in other words, the number 83 is about the fullness of the Lord through the way that he causes you to be fruitful, to increase in number and be fruitful, to, whew, to fill the earth. To fill the earth with what? The knowledge of the glory of God. The revelation of the glory of God. To fill the earth. <sighs> to fill the earth with the heavenly deposit that was placed in your spiritual womb. This is the year that the fullness breaks forth and breaks through. To glorify the Lord. Okay. Hallelujah. 5783 is also about God bringing full circle what he did in past generations historically. It blew my mind when I heard this because what did the Lord have me teach on? The full circle drawing. And here, this rabbi is speaking about the full circle. When God says we're coming into this new decade, this new era, where God is bringing everything 
into a full circle. I mean, it's come full circle what he's done historically in generations. And he's speaking glory to God of what he's birthing in its fullness from, gener from a generation. Okay. And I'm just going to say this because the next broadcast that I'm going to be speaking about Monday is the word the Lord said to me when he said, don't laugh, Sarah. Don't laugh, Sarah. We're going to talk about this because we are entering into the fullness, the fullness of where God is bringing everything full circle from a generation, saying, now what I deposited, now I'm going to break forth. Now I'm going to release in its fullness in this generation. And so where he had Abraham and Sarah wait 13 years before their Isaac could come forth into the earth, for Abraham to become the father of many nations. We, in this generation of the remnant of God, we are coming in to this moment in time, which is a full circle in a generation where God had decreed a promise and said, now Isaac will break forth. Now Isaac will come forth. Now the fullness of what I promised will come forth and break through and there shall be a harvest for what I am historically bringing forth and establishing in the nations. Woo! When we begin to understand, wow, God releases generational blessings. When he begins to speak or prophesy, it is generational blessings, generational breakthrough, generational harvest. And so when he spoke the blessing and the promise over Abraham and Sarah, it was a generational blessing and breakthrough and harvest that would come forth through Isaac, the one they had to wait for because their roots had to go deep to understand what was greater than them, a blessing and a promise from God that was just inviting them into true sonship that the earth groans and cries out for the sons of God to reveal the glory of God and release the fullness of His glory in the earth. Come on, somebody, are you guys hearing the Spirit of God right now? We have come full circle. We are entering this year where God begins to speak to Sarah and says, Don't laugh, Sarah, for this time this time within a year, you will be holding your Isaac. Whoo! An angel of the Lord appears. And so what happened is Abraham and Sarah, they were waiting on the Lord 13 years. My God, they were waiting. But their roots were going deep and being patient and being faithful and having faith. Whoo! And, 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 and experiencing a holy reverential fear of the Lord concerning why God said, I'm choosing to keep your womb barren until a specific generation for what I will release. Woo! That is bigger than you. That is so greater than you. And all the years of suffering will be nothing compared to the years of plenty and the years of harvest and the years of fullness. So let me go back to this, this word. And also, I want to do this. I want to stop and be obedient because the Lord told me to do this. I do not speak about tithing or sowing into this ministry very often at all but the Lord spoke to me and he said for those of you that are really receiving what the Spirit of God is saying about 5783 and the bamboo tree 
that he said for those of you to ask the father what seed to sow for 5783 the bamboo the bamboo tree it's a bamboo seed anytime we hear the word of the lord and we value the word of the lord we are sowing or we are releasing what what we release is about how much we value the word of god it's not about it's not about uh all these different teachings and i want to say this just momentarily whenever god leads us to do any sowing financially whatever the case is it is about resources it is about the currency of heaven anything else any prayer when it comes to healing when it comes to breakthrough this is between you and the lord and your walk of obedience it's not about finances so i want to make this very clear that anytime you sow a seed anywhere anywhere when god leads you to you can sow a seed somewhere where someone's just walking with god and it's not even a ministry but god tells you to do it there's a reason there's an open storehouse where god wants to release resources to bless you because of the vision that he's given you the blueprint from heaven that he's given you he wants to align you with a supernatural currency from heaven so here it is i'm going to post it right here i'm going to post it right here and then those of you moderating you can either copy and paste it or just write it out this is for 5783 and this is a holy seed unto the lord and it is all about you know what i value this word i believe this word and i'm going to partner with this word that's what this is about resources glory to god okay this is the declaration that the spirit of the lord wants you to declare with me here it is everybody say this all together and if you want to comment it in the comment section you can do that this is my year of divine abundance and fruitfulness god is filling my house with every good thing every treasure from heaven and areas in my land that's been barren is going from barrenness to birthing abundance this is my year of divine abundance and fruitfulness i decree genesis chapter 1 verse 28 Because of the power of my divine covenant marriage with Christ, I will be fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth and subdue it by the spirit of the living God. Your prophetic declaration starting right now. Whew is Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 and this is about your covenant with Christ and for those of you that are married I want you to decree this over your marriage that you will be fruitful with the fruit of the Spirit with each other that holy union and that there will be great increase because of the intimacy between the two of you and what Christ has cultivated and is cultivating between the two of you that will be an outflow to the people filling the earth with what the glory of God love of God the intimacy of Christ the revelation the sacred revelation of that holy intimacy with the spirit of the living god what you are your marriage with the blueprint 
the power of that union, the power of that union by the Spirit of God will cause you to be greatly fruitful and increase in number in your marriage, in the ministry of the Holy Spirit between the two of you, in your businesses, glory to God, increase will come out of the power of that holy union. And I decree over those of you that are not married yet, that marriage is coming. It is coming the way that God spoke it to you in your midnight hour. But I want to say this to you about your covenant with Christ. It is a marriage. And the power of this union that you have with Christ is going to bring great increase in your fields. Increase. Increase in your household. Increase in the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Increase in abundance in every kingdom business. <sighs> Increase in abundance that flows from the vision that God deposited on the inside of you in that beautiful, powerful union between you and the Lord. And I feel that. So I want every one of you to decree Genesis chapter 128. And I want you to really release it. I mean, until you feel that word tangibly become a holy flame on the inside of your spirit, man. That you recognize, my God, this is the year that I am rising from my roots where I've been rooted I am rising and I am releasing everything in its fullness that was deposited within me straight from heaven. I prophesy tonight that every holy encounter that you have had with the Spirit of the Lord is going to produce abundance through your life in the way that the Holy Spirit upon you desires to minister to his people. That God is going to show you how he wants you to uh, release uh, coaching and counseling. How he wants you to steward that encounter and that revelation that becomes such great wisdom and counsel to his beloved to his people that he's called you to serve and to minister to. I decree that those encounters are going to produce great increase and so much fruitfulness. I decree that finances are going to break forth and increase in your life because of the way that you obey the Holy Spirit and his divine instruction coming out of every holy encounter. Whoo! For those of you that are asking about 5783, I already spoke about it. If you happen to just join, you will catch it on the replay. But most importantly, what I can say is 5783 is about rising and releasing what the Spirit of God deposited within you. It is about what God is birthing in its fullness, in the fullness of the Lord. It is about a great expansion. A great expansion, great fruitfulness that is coming. Whew. Okay. Now we're going to move into the bamboo tree. I'm going to start off by saying this. It was the month of May this year when the Holy Spirit told me to suddenly change the name of this ministry that used to be Abba's ministry and the Holy Spirit said now you are changing the name to the Cimarron tribe in that moment I knew that there would be decrease because there would be people that wouldn't understand but I had to obey the Holy Spirit and during the time the Lord told me this is the deal of this ministry he literally put a trailer in front of me that said Cimarron on it. 
And the Lord said, I want you to know that I put a sign and a wonder in front of you so that you know that you're obeying me, that you hear my voice. And some of you need to hear this right now, that the Father began to have you shift gears in what he told you to establish. He said, there's a name change, like the name change from Joseph to Zephapanephaniah, or from Hadassah to Esther, or from Jacob. Israel. My God, come on somebody, that God began to speak to you and he began to say, now there is a name change bringing you into the fullness of your true DNA. I'm causing your DNA to come into harmony with the blueprint of heaven that I have established. I am the architect and I've designed this blueprint and now I'm causing your DNA to come into alignment with the blueprint that I have put on the inside of you. And so God had me enter the name change from Abba's ministry to the Cimarron tribe, which means wild, whoo, which means battering ram, which means a wild stallion, a charger, one who charges the remnant, one who recharges the remnant, empowers by the spirit with great joy and the great passion of Christ. So again, I say some of you, you had to enter that season where God said, you're going to change the name. You're going to change the mission. You're going to change and people are not understand it and they may persecute you and they may walk away. But trust me, this is the way of my spirit. Whoo! And I'm telling you, for those of you that obeyed the Lord, you're going to see radical growth and increase when the Lord begins to open his mouth and release his command. It is going to happen like the moment the Lord released his command and said, now that dry place will become a a wellspring of living water. Now that desert out of the desert, now there shall be a river. Now vegetation shall, shall spring forth because I, the Lord, commanded it so. And so the Lord is going to release his command and he's going to command fruit and abundance to break forth out of a dry place because he decreed it so and those you who were obedient when everything looked dim my god it looked dim it looked nothing was there was no increase it looked like everything was just decreasing and diminishing being smaller and it didn't make sense and it frustrated some of you or it made some of you sad like why is this happening but God had to do what? He had to sift through the real, the hungry. He had to sift through those that really value the ministry of the Holy Spirit through your life. For those of you that are establishing a ministry, even through social media, that God had to do it this way. And those who have that DNA, like the DNA of the mystery of the Lord in your life, they're attracted and they're going to stay and they're going to be discipled and they're going to grow. They're going to expand and they're going to increase. Why? Because you obey the Lord. Here's what the Lord said. The bamboo... We're going to talk about the amazing, amazing teaching about the bamboo. Here we go. The first story was about 83 and just an outpouring of the Holy Spirit and worshiping him, breathing from him. Whoo! Now we're going into the bamboo. The Lord said, the bamboo is also known as a cane. The Lord spoke to me in 2020 and said, 
he would deal with all the hype in the house, all the hype in the church from all the sugar canes, sugar coating my gospel. God began to speak to me and he said, sugar, as you know, causes hypertension in the bloodstream. It causes impulsive behavior and attention deficit disorder. This is what has been produced and established through leadership that have been the sugar canes in the church. And the Lord says this night, there is a new cane coming forth in the body of Christ. A cane is also known as a staff. And the Lord says, I am introducing a new staff woo, with a bam and a boo. The Lord says, this cane is my bamboo. This staff is my bamboo. Boo. And he said again, my new staff that I am putting into leadership, that I am promoting, that I am advancing, that has had to wait on me for years because of the weight of revelation and the way that I deeply rooted them. He said this to me. Bam means... A sudden, startling sound. A loud noise with heavy, deep impact. Like an explosion. Like a tidal wave. Like a battering ram. The Lord says, my bam boo. And I heard the Lord and he said, concerning the leaders, concerning the leaders in the church, I heard the Lord say in every moment they lied that they thought they could keep fortified is now coming down with a bam boo. Wait now till you hear this. Here is the scripture to the prophetic word of the Lord. Ezekiel 13 verse 14. So I will tear down the wall which you plastered over with whitewash and bring it down to the ground so that its foundation is laid bare. And when it falls, you will be consumed in its mist and you will know that I am the Lord. So Ezekiel chapter 13 verse 14 is connected to what I heard in the spirit when the Lord said in every moment they lied that they thought they could keep fortified is now coming down. And God speaks in Hosea chapter 7 verse 13. Woe to them for they have strayed from me. Destruction is theirs. For they have rebelled against me. I would redeem them. But they speak lies against me. Isn't it something. That the Lord says. I would have redeemed them. But because they speak lies against me. I'm not going to redeem them. I'm going to destroy them. And we know what God's talking about. Then the Lord said, now that you understand the definition of bam, now I'm going to give you the definition of boo, and then we're going to go into the bamboo and the supernatural uh, power of the bamboo that I created to reveal my nature and how I move in my remnant. Boo means... Suddenly, okay, boo means when someone says boo, it's said 
to suddenly surprise someone or to frighten someone. To show disapproval or contempt, meaning disgust and disrespect. The offense of being disobedient to or disrespectful of a court of law and its officers. So when God is saying, bam, he's facing a sudden explosion through his what? His remnant, his battering ram. And when he says, boo, he's causing the enemy to be suddenly surprised and frightened because of the way that God is going to dress them with shame and disgrace in the way they disrespected and dishonored everything he decreed from the courtroom of heaven and the officials that serve him in the courtroom of heaven. Now this is pretty funny. So I'm going to say this after the Lord had me scribe this. I began to see a vision of the Lord with a thick bamboo in his hand. And he literally knocked out and knocked down all the usurpers in this hour. He's striking with the bamboo the usurpers of nations. He's striking with the bamboo the usurpers in the body of Christ. He's striking with a heavy blow whoo, through the overflow of blessing, breakthrough, and harvest that he's releasing through his remnant. Now, when I saw the Lord with the bamboo striking the head of these usurpers, there's a word for this vision. And it's Psalm 68, verse 21. And it says this, Surely God will crush the heads of his enemies, the hairy crowns of those who go on in their sins. All those in the remnant that were hidden. Woo! Okay, hold on. Let me backtrack because I, I, I went ahead of I went ahead here. That's the end of the scripture. Surely God will crush the heads of his enemies, the hairy crowns of those who go on in their sins. Okay. And the Lord. <laughs> so that was really a comical vision. But it's really happening. And the Lord said for me to prophesy. All those in the remnant. That were hidden. For five years or more. Mantled by the Lord. Are now going. To experience. Unusual. Wild acceleration. Wild restoration. Unusual. Wild harvest. And unusual. Wild success. Glory to God. Unusual, wild multiplication from the mantle. Hallelujah. The Lord, the Father, is so protective over us, He keeps us hidden and humble. Beneath the surface, he deeply loves us that he invites us into the deep by cultivating deep roots within. And when it's time for the Father to be so glorified in our lives, he brings us from out of obscurity into notoriety to only glorify him, to only glorify his name, to testify of his goodness, to testify of his wonder. Woo! To boast about the Lord. All right. So here we go, guys. Are you ready? Now I'm going to play you something that is going to bless you. And it is about the bamboo tree. We're going to go deep into the bamboo tree. And I'm going to pray blessing over you guys. 
that you will just be saturated in the word of the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Okay. I'm going to add this to the stream really quick. And I'm going to... Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to play this. Here we go. Let me tell you about the fern and the bamboo. He says, when the fern seed was planted, the ferns grew up very quickly, and they're lush and green and beautiful. He says, well, let me tell you about the seed for the bamboo. When the seed was planted for the bamboo, the first year you saw nothing, the second year you saw nothing, the third year you saw nothing, the fourth year you saw nothing, and the fifth year you saw nothing. This it is was so at powerful. The end of the fifth year that the first shoot of the bamboo came up. He says, how tall is that bamboo that you're looking at? This is feet tall. He says, the reason why the bamboo is 100 feet tall is because the five years when you saw nothing, it was growing deep on the inside. It was growing deeper roots on the inside. The reason it was going deeper on the inside is because I knew I planned for it to be 100 feet on the outside. Now that fern isn't growing high, so it could come out real quick. But because of when I was taking the bamboo, Woo! I had to allow things to go deep inside before it could show what it would look like outside. If God is taking a long time with you, it's because he's trying to take you deep on the inside because of where he plans to take you on the outside. See, a lot of us want to skyscraper destiny on a chicken coop foundation. Oh! But we want God to take us way up here, but he can't take us deep in here. If you want God to take you high, then you got to let God take you deep. Because the deeper he takes you, the higher he can take you, and you won't fall over when the bad times come. Don't give up on God, because God has not given up on you. Woo! Jesus. Okay. I. Okay, hold on, hold on. Baby, hold on. Hold on, guys, just a second. Woo, Jesus. Okay. Thank you, glory to your name. Okay. I pray that you could hear that so clearly. That was Dr. Tony Evans. And I will say, I absolutely love how the Spirit of God teaches through Dr. Tony Evans. And that was so powerful about what the Lord was saying, right? And this is what we're going to go into the actual uh, nature of the amazing Chinese bamboo tree. And this is where I'm going to tell you that when God began to put that trailer with the word simmer on, on it, and he said, I want you to prophesy now in this month that wild growth and wild increase is coming to my remnant. He put a video in front of me and it said unusual acceleration. And when I saw that, I was drawn to it and I felt the Holy Spirit. And it was about a teaching of the bamboo tree. Now, this is what is so holy about this and why God had led me to this. Because that was in the month of May of this year. Then this September, on the 24th of this year, when I was at my best friend's um, um, celebration for life for her mom, who recently went to be with the Lord in heaven, oh my goodness, a man of God comes in front of me and he says these words. He says, wow. He says, I hear the Lord saying that you have been crying out saying, Lord, where is the fruit or the harvest I've sowed and sowed for years and years and years? And and where is this this fruit and this harvest and, and, and that you're speaking of? And as he's speaking these words, tears begin to come down my eyes. And all of a sudden, he says, I hear the Lord saying to you, get ready, daughter, because suddenly everything is going to break forth in your life, your marriage, everything in the ministry, everything God promised and decreed to you that you've been standing in faith, waiting on the Lord. It is all going to come forth like the bamboo shoot. 
You know why it was so, I was so awestruck by that moment? Because God had already deposited that in my spirit. When I stepped out to shift gears, when God said, now this name's changing, now everything's shifting, and I want you to trust me as I'm telling you, wild growth and wild increase is coming forth, even though it looks like this is decrease and everything is, is shrinking and, and diminishing. No, no, no. Wild growth and wild increase is coming forth. And I knew at that moment that this word was not just personal for me, but this word was for the remnant of God as well. And I'm going to go ahead. Thank you, Jesus. I am going to go ahead and make sure, okay, that I've got this on the right audio. I want to say this again. God made me wait, May to June, June, July, July to August, four months as he was having me move and obey his divine instruction. And he brought it back and he said, everything is going to suddenly break forth. It's going to blow your mind and it's going to happen like the bamboo, like the bamboo tree or the bamboo shoot. Okay, this is the word of the Lord for you in 5783. Listen to this. The growth pattern of this tree is remarkable. Plant a bamboo sprout in the ground, and for up to five years, nothing happens. You water and fertilize, water and fertilize over and over again, but you see no visible evidence that anything is happening, nothing at all. And God is saying the way that you watered and fertilized everything in prayer, in prayer, Everything I spoke to you in your personal life, for you, your family, your marriage, the ministry, the business, everything, you watered it with your tears and you fertilized it with my word and my prophetic decree. I'm going to say this again. The Holy Spirit's saying, you watered Everything I promised you with your tears, out of brokenness, out of surrender, and you fertilized it with my prophetic word, with my decree. And year after year after year after year, you did not say anything come to be. But oh my children, oh my beloved, watch and wait and see. What comes forth in 5783, for it is the year of the bamboo tree. I am faithful. And you're going to see sudden breakthrough, sudden harvest of that which I promised thee. But I had to make sure you went deep in the roots. You went deep in the roots so the shoots could break forth strong and mighty. For my glory. Now listen. In approximately the fifth year, things change dramatically. Things are about to change dramatically for the remnant of God. In a six-week period, five to six-week period, the Chinese bamboo tree grows to a staggering 90 to 100 feet tall. It says that a bamboo shoot can grow three feet in a 24 hour period. My God. It seems incredible that a plant that lies dormant for years can suddenly explode with growth unexplainable, but it happens without fail with the Chinese bamboo trees. It says that the symbolism of the bamboo is wisdom, 
patience, inner strength, growth, flexibility, and regeneration. The bamboo tree, it produces neither flowers nor fruit, and the hollow trunk reminds us of humility with an open heart free of arrogance. Bamboo is a symbol of longevity because of its durability, its strength, flexibility, and resilience. It survives in the harshest conditions, still standing tall and staying green year round, evergreen. When the storm comes, bamboo bends with the wind. When the storm ceases, it resumes its upright position. The righteous are upright. Walk upright, positioned upright. Its ability to cope with adversity and still stand firmly without losing its original ground is inspirational. Its flexibility and adaptability are a lesson to us all that the secret of a long, happy life is to go with the flow. The lesson from the bamboo is to go with the flow. <laughs> bamboo has regeneration superpowers. Rather than directing energy towards regaining its lost height, a cut bamboo stalk will simply unfurl new leaves. So after this bamboo, it, it's, it's a 60 day, listen, it's like the 60 day period, the, the, five to, the, the five to six weeks that it has the most basically supernatural growth. It up to 90, 90 to, to 100 feet tall, then it's able to be used as resources. And there's many things that bamboo do, and I'm gonna go into that. The use of bamboo is just unbelievable. But once the bamboo stalk is cut, it regenerates in a powerful way. Now listen to this. These leaves, in turn, create and send energy down to the root system to encourage the growth of new shoots. The more that gets harvested, cut, the faster it grows. That makes bamboo an incredible renewable resource that can be harvested and will regrow naturally without the need for manual reforestation. Do you understand that after five years, when this bamboo shoots up within that five to six week period up to 90 to 100 feet, it is, listen to this, it is stronger than steel. This blew my mind, okay? That bamboo can regenerate itself through what? Its roots. Its roots release and regenerate new bamboo shoots. And listen to this. It's called running bamboo. And that bamboo invades the land. And the remnant of God, like the bamboo, is about to invade the land. Whoo! I mean, listen to this. This is so profound. This is so profound. The bamboo regenerates itself from the roots. And it creates a colony that literally spreads throughout the land, it invades the land because its roots are so powerful. Bamboo is truly a wonder of nature. It's a sustainable resource that's able to give food, clothing, and shelter 
to billions of people around the world. God is saying, 5783, the year of the bamboo tree, I'm about to bring the greatest breakthrough and harvest through my remnant that is going to supply the food, the clothing, and the shelter to billions of people around the world. What is supernatural, what is supernatural, and what I allow to multiply with the resources that you currently have. Listen to this. Bamboo helps to protect the environment while it grows. Bamboo is actually a grass. It looks like a tree due to its tough woody stem like a tree trunk and how large it can grow. It is the fastest growing plant in the world. There is a type of bamboo that I spoke of called the running bamboo that can actually invade the land due to its root system. <laughs> Woo! The average height of the bamboo tree is between 15 to 40 feet. That's some bamboo. But the Chinese bamboo and the, um, I believe it's called the giant bamboo, it grows a hundred feet or more and it's 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 height is up to a hundred feet and its width is between 40 to 50 feet wide this is known as the giant bamboo the Japanese timber bamboo can also live for up to 120 years 120 years old in the wild because the bamboo is so tall and slender, it needs to have a very strong root system to get water and nutrients that high up. Its extensive root system also keeps the bamboo from being uprooted in a storm. When a tree has a root system that goes deep into the soil, it draws nourishment from the depths that trees with shallow roots never experience. Let me say that again. When a tree has a root system that goes deep into the soil, it draws nourishment from the depths that trees with shallow roots never experience. Hence, Christians versus the remnant of God. A tree whose roots go deep is more fruitful, has more lush foliage, and stronger limbs. Now here we go. These are amazing facts about the bamboo. It says, my God, bamboo creates more oxygen than trees. An area of bamboo forest will produce up to 35% more oxygen than an equal area of hardwood forest. You know why? Because the bamboo has strong, deep roots. And because of the time that it takes before it breaks out of the ground from the root system, because of its supernatural growth, its radical wild growth, within those 60 days. That's amazing that bamboo can produce more oxygen than trees. And bamboo is not a tree, it's a grass, but it, it, it's, it looks like a tree because of how tall it grows and how the, the stalk is so hard. It, it's, it's unbelievable. Bamboo is naturally antifungal and antibacterial. This allows bamboo to be easily grown without chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Now here's the, the powerful, powerful, I mean, truth about the bamboo that just wrecked me. 
bamboo has a tensile strength higher than steel. Bamboo is incredibly strong with a tensile of strength of 28,000 pounds per square inch. The strength of bamboo makes it a great construction material that replaces steel. In other words, it has such a deep, strong root system that when it breaks out of the ground, woo, it is stronger than steel. It says, it has been used to build suspension bridges in China for at least a thousand years. Bamboo poles can also be used in place of steel to make reinforced concrete. Are you guys understanding? 5783, the year of the bamboo tree. Because of the deep root system, where God focuses on the roots that go so deep within that five year period that when it breaks up and rises out of the, beneath, from beneath the surface, it is stronger than steel. Bamboo has been used in a number of historical inventions. This is the first light bulb made by Thomas Edison used a carbonized bamboo filament. Bamboo was also used for the needle of the first phonograph. The first helicopter was also based on a bamboo toy and many early airplanes used bamboo due to its excellent strength to weight ratio. Why do you think the Lord is having me share this with you? Because the key word is that bamboo was used for historical inventions. I prophesy tonight that through the remnant that is now the symbol of the bamboo tree. God, you are highlighting this in this year of 5783. I prophesy that through the remnant, great historical inventions will be birthed and established from now until you come, Lord. Until you come. Until you come. Until you're ready for the new heaven and the new earth. Lord, I thank you that in this hour and in this year and through this generation in the remnant, historical inventions will break forth and finance the kingdom like never before in Jesus' name. Come on, who's with me? Who's with me? Bamboo has been used in a number of historical inventions. I had no idea that bamboo was used in what? The, the light bulb, the first light bulb was made using carbonized bamboo. And then, I mean, the first helicopter based on bamboo used for excellent strength to weight ratio. Listen to this. There's so much revelation in the nature of the bamboo and why God is saying this is the year of the bamboo tree. In the remnant. Woo! Planting bamboo on your property can have many benefits. The shade provided by a stand of bamboo can make the surrounding area feel up to 15 degrees cooler. A wall of bamboo can also be planted as a windbreak and a visual shield. Bamboo roots help to prevent soil erosion through rain water runoff. Bamboo is a nutritious source of food. Fresh pickled or cooked bamboo shoots have been an important part of Asian cuisine for centuries. Bamboo is an excellent source of dietary fiber and potassium. 
Bamboo is used to make an amazing number of products. Here are just a few. Scaffolding support beams in a construction site, walls, roofs, flooring, blinds, furniture, pipes, cups, buckets, eating utensils, chopsticks, toothpicks, paper, biofuel. Are you kidding me? That bamboo can make fuel, biofuel, fishing rods, flutes, kendo swords, clothing, towels, and much more. Okay, so what is God saying? God is saying that out of the remnant, the way that after all these years that you've had to wait for the breakthrough, wait for the harvest, wait for the abundance, wait for the increase, because of the weight of revelation, because of the weight of the framework of the Father within you, my God, He is saying, you have no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor entered into the heart of man, the things that the Lord God has for those who diligently seek Him and love Him with their whole heart. My God, you have no idea in the way that I bring forth the harvest, that I'm going to cause what I put inside of you to create so many unique things that are going to finance my kingdom. Woo! Oh my God. Do you understand? God is saying, the moment the bamboo breaks forth, and shoots up to 90 to 100 feet within that five to six week time frame. That is so resourceful. My God. And there's so many things that can be used and created out of that bamboo shoot. And God is saying, what I'm about to cause to break through in your life, what I'm about to cause to be harvested in your life is going to be so resourceful to the people and the nations. Woo! You're going to think that this one vision is just for one purpose. And I'm going to brood over it and show you that this vision is multifaceted. And this vision, I'm going to show you where it's going to finance my kingdom. I'm going to show you. Woo! Jesus. What I'm about to bring forth. And to cause to break through. That I've hidden. And I've protected. And I've preserved deep inside of you. Is going to be so resourceful. And you will see how I tell you to disperse it. Just as I told Joseph to disperse the grain. My God, the Lord saying, just as I told Joseph to disperse the grain, as I gave Joseph divine instruction and prophetic insight. And during a famine, there was plenty. There was seven years of plenty. And the Spirit of God is saying, do not fret and do not fear what you see drawing near in the nations in this day. For I am giving prophetic insight and I am showing my remnant how to see Seven years of plenty in a famine. Whoa. Woo. Do you hear the spirit of God? I gave Joseph divine instruction and prophetic insight in order to know how to store grain, how to disperse grain in the midst of a famine. Do you not think that I would not do the same in my remnant this day, says the Spirit of the Lord? Do you not believe that I am the same yesterday, today, and forevermore? That I know how to move? When I am bringing humility over nations, when I am gutting out the evil works, of man through the nations and famine breaks forth but nay famine will not break forth in my people in my remnant for did I not create a Goshen Woo! 
for my people to not dwell in Egypt. generation my God and listen when God is speaking about the root system I want to make sure that I share this because it's very important we always know and we always hear that Jesus has many names and we often hear more than anything Jesus as the lion of the tribe of Judah but we don't often hear Jesus known as the root the root the root the root of David the root of Jesse so when God is speaking about the bamboo tree 5783, the year of the bamboo tree, when my God, years of barrenness and years there's been a famine, waiting and waiting for God to fulfill his word. My God, it's because of everything God is doing in the roots. Woo! And here is the word. Revelation 22:16. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to give you this testimony for the churches. I am the root. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star. Jesus says, I am the root. And Isaiah 11 verse one, this is so powerful. This describes the regeneration, the power of regeneration that is in the nature of the bamboo tree. It says this, a shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. Why is it called a stump? A stump is only made when the trunk of the tree is cut. So like the bamboo where the stalk was cut, it becomes known as a stump. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse, from his roots, a branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the spirit of counsel and of might, the spirit of the knowledge and fear of the Lord. And he will delight in the fear of the Lord. This right here is speaking of the power of regeneration that comes out of Christ. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots, a branch will bear fruit. The running bamboo, when its stalk is cut, it does not grow from the stalk. It releases the foliage of leaves and it causes the nutrients to go into the roots 
to literally create a new shoot of bamboo from the same root system. God is about to blow the minds of his people through the power of regeneration and what the power of multiplication that comes out of the deep root system that he established within you. What is that root system? Christ Jesus, the hope of glory within me. That is my root system. That is your root system. Christ, Christ Jesus, the hope of glory is my root system, is your root system. And God had to make you go deep, had to make you really embrace and cling and understand and be educated in that root system. Whoo! Now listen to this. Ezekiel 31 verse 7. This is where God is speaking about the way that the roots go deep because of the abundant water from the deep makes it shoot up. Listen, Ezekiel 31, 7. It was majestic in beauty with its spreading bows, which means the main branches that come out of the tree. For its roots went down to abundant waters. Now, you can read the entire chapter of Ezekiel 31. It actually is about the fall of the Pharaoh. But God speaks about what he, how, what he created and what he allowed to show what happens when pride comes before the fall. But when something is deeply rooted coming out of abundant waters, which is what his voice of many waters it begins to shoot up high into the sky. It rises greatly. But if pride comes, then God will chop it down. Now we're going to read Matthew 23, verse 12. For those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. God is going to deal with these evil leaders and that is in Ezekiel chapter 31 where he says, oh, no, I am chopping this thing down. I am chopping it down and it is going to fall. Matter of fact, we can actually go there because you know what? I'm not on a time frame. I'm going to flow with the Holy Ghost. Let me go to Ezekiel chapter 31 and then we're going to go Wow, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, let me go there. And then we're going to go into Matthew and what God spoke to me about Matthew, chapter 23, verse 12, that is happening in the remnant because God is exalting his remnant, meaning he says, I will exalt those who humble themselves, but I will humble those who exalt themselves. Here we go. We're going to go to Ezekiel, chapter 31. This is powerful, actually. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, here we go. And it says, in verse, in verse 2, Son of man, say to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and to his hordes, who can be compared with you in majesty? Consider Assyria, once a cedar in Lebanon, with beautiful branches overshadowing the forest. It towered on high, its top above the thick foliage. The waters nourished it. Deep springs made it grow tall, hence like the bamboo. Their streams flowed all around its base and sent their channels to all the trees of the field. So it towered higher than all the trees of the field. Its bows increased and its branches grew long, spreading because of abundant waters. Hear that? It was only spreading because of abundant waters. 
all the birds of the sky nested in its bows, meaning the main branches that came out of its trunk. All the animals of the wild gave birth under its branches. All the great nations lived in its shade. It was majestic in beauty with its spreading bows, for its roots went down to abundant waters. Verse 8, the cedars in the garden of God could not rival it, nor could the junipers equal its bows or branches, nor could the plane trees compare with its branches. No tree in the garden of God could match its beauty. I made it beautiful with abundant branches, the envy of all the trees of Eden in the garden of God. Verse 10, therefore, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Because the great cedar towered over the thick foliage, and because it was proud or prideful of its height, I gave it into the hands of the ruler of the nations for him to deal with according to its wickedness. I cast it aside, and the most ruthless of foreign nations cut it down and left it. Its bows fell on the mountains, and in all the valleys its branches lay broken in all the ravines of the land. All the nations of the earth came out from under its shade and left it. All the birds settled on the fallen tree, and all the wild animals lived among its branches. Therefore, no other trees by the waters are ever to tower proudly on high, lifting their tops above the thick foliage. No other trees so well watered are even to reach such a height. They are all destined for death, for the earth below among mortals who go down to the realm of the dead. This is what the sovereign Lord says. On the day it was brought down to the realm of the dead, I covered the deep springs with mourning for it. I held back its streams, and its abundant waters were restrained. Because of it, I clothed Lebanon with gloom, and all the trees of the field withered away. I made the nations tremble at the sound of its fall when I brought it down to the realm of the dead to be with those who go down to the pit. Then all the trees of Eden, the choicest and best of Lebanon, the well-watered trees were consoled in the earth below. They too, like the great cedar, had gone down to the realm of the dead. To those killed by the sword, along with the armed men who lived in the shade among the nations. Verse 18, which of the trees of Eden can be compared with you in splendor and majesty? Yet you too will be brought down with the trees of Eden to the earth below. You will lie among the uncircumcised with those killed by the sword. This is Pharaoh and all his hordes, declares the sovereign Lord. That is a lot. That is a lot but it is Ezekiel chapter 31. And the reason God wanted me to read this to you is because God said, the tables have turned. The tables have turned now. So the area where what? It's like the Pharaoh of the nations, high and lifted up with all the foliage. And what did it say? It said the birds and the animals of the wild were resting or nesting in its branches and under its shade. It talked about all the nations, right? But then God said, no, he said, I will humble those who exalt themselves and exalt those who humble themselves. So what now was happening? The 5783, the year of the bamboo tree, baby, the remnant now is going to go up high. The remnant is going to be that which is releases that foliage that causes what? The birds and the wild animals to what? To nestle in its branches and to live under its shade. Oh, Jesus. So this scripture is very meaty. There's a lot in it that's very metaphoric, that's very symbolic. But God is speaking and he's saying, he's tearing down the usurpers of nations like he cuts down the tree that only was able to shoot up so high because of the way the roots went down deep into abundant waters.
But and now the sons and daughters of God are going to experience the areas that God is going to shoot them up. They're going to rise up high and tall with humility. But what God releases in the house of the remnant is going to be what is going to feed, what is going to clothe, what is going to provide a place of refuge, a place of shelter, a place of food, a place to be clothed. My God. It's such a holy word from God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And the Lord says here, when we read Ezekiel 30, 31, we go to Matthew. Thank you, Jesus. We go to Matthew chapter 23. Matthew chapter 23. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 12. For those who exalt themselves will be humbled. Those who humble themselves will be exalted. The word exalt means to hold someone in a high regard, a very high regard, to think or speak of highly, to magnify, to raise to a higher rank or position of greater power, to promote, elevate, advance, upgrade, make noble in character. So there is this place that God is now exalting his remnant who has stayed humble, waiting on the Lord. And they are going to spring up just as God spoke of how majestic this tree was that sprung up where its roots went deep into abundant waters. And then we read Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7 through 8. But blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. He will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. So why has God made all of us wait this length of time where we have never seen breakthrough or harvest? Really, we've been waiting on the Lord because when everything breaks through and springs up and rises the way that it will as the Chinese bamboo tree, the Lord says it here in Jeremiah 17, verse 7 through 8. He will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. Your leaves are always going to be green. There's going to be no worry in the year of drought because you will be in the year of plenty. And nothing will fail that to bear fruit. You will bear fruit. You will bear fruit even in a famine. See, God speaks in his word, especially with Elijah, when he told Elijah to move when he dried up the brook. Why? Because he's, God sent the famine in the land. God cursed the land. He sent the famine in the land because of the evil rulers. But he told Elijah to move in a different direction. And then he said, you can come back when I lift the famine. But for now, what's going to happen is you're going to move and I'm going to provide for you supernaturally. You're going to be full of plenty when that land's going to be in famine. We have to understand when we partner with God, when we partner with the currency of heaven, when we partner with the government of heaven, we will always be in a land of plenty when the world system is in famine. It's unbelievable. It's all supernatural. And that's what the bamboo tree is all about, remnant of God. You are about to see the most unusual, uncommon, radical breakthrough, radical wild harvest, radical wild growth, radical wild multiplication that you've ever experienced. Why? Because it's time for what God has deeply rooted to now greatly rise. Let me say it again. It's now time for what God has caused to be deeply rooted to now greatly rise. 
to now greatly rise, to now greatly rise and like the foliage of a tree to become a shelter for the people, become a place of safety and shelter and rest for the people, become food and fruit for them to eat. My God. And we're going to, we're going to stop here and I'm going to go into this, um, place with you. Thank you, Jesus. For those of you that are still with me, the Holy Spirit often takes me through a soaking meditation with, with him. And there is an illustration that becomes an encounter. So there's an illustration or a vision that the Holy Spirit reveals and that vision and illustration is an invitation to encounter, okay? And so the Lord wants to invite you into this place where he illustrates the moment that the bamboo, the, the roots of the bamboo begin to shoot and rise up greatly. And what the Lord wants you to see and begin to step into with him this is an invitation of the Holy Spirit, is where you see yourself become like a tree. Your legs become a trunk. And you begin to see by the Spirit that you become this tree that just grows tall and you see the branches break forth and you see the leaves and you see that fresh, green, vibrant foliage coming out of the branches of the tree. And you begin to see the fruit that begins to come rapidly, rapid growth. The fruit just supernaturally rapidly grows. And you begin to see the birds begin to fly to the branches to make their nest. You begin to see the wild animals come. They're attracted to this tree for shelter, for a place of rest, for a place of home and habitation. Woo, Jesus. And you begin to see those that are drawn to receive the fruit that becomes their food and to receive what is of the resources that come out of this incredible tree that you are. The leaves, the healing for the nations. Come on, God wants to invite you into this beautiful soaking, this meditational moment with the Holy Spirit to allow the Holy Spirit to brew, to let you see how he causes you to become this beautiful tree that go just rises up rapidly. It's almost like a time lapse where you see a time lapse and it looks like it's so fast, but it's the time lapse of, of the stages of growth and development. And the Lord begins to let you see how you turn into this glorious, gigantic tree that literally brings the shade and the shelter for those that need it. It's Christ in you. It's your root system. He is the root. He is the root. And Christ Jesus, the hope of glory, the root system within you, whoo, causes this tree to come forth, to break through the, the surface of the soil and the earth. And you see rapid growth. You see the fruit grow rapidly, be produced rapidly. And then you see those that are coming, that are drawn by the Holy Spirit to receive what is coming out of your tree and from your branches. Whew! Hallelujah. You need to recognize the value of the heavenly deposit that was released within you that is now going to greatly rise and bring such a harvest that's going to feed many because you're entering a land of plenty. The fullness of what God has deposited is now breaking forth. The fruit of that prophetic decree, the fruit of that word is going to break forth. Not only is it going to bless you greatly, but it will be a blessing to those who need to receive what comes from the branches of your tree, the bark of your tree. Glory to God. I want to bless all of you that have joined today, and I want to give everybody another opportunity. 
I never do this unless the Lord leads me. But God spoke to me and said, tell my remnant to sow a seed, a 5783 bamboo seed. And I will tell them what to specifically sow. Just ask the Holy Spirit. Ask the Holy Spirit. And when you sow any seed, all it does is it literally brings you into harmony with the currency of heaven. That what comes by the Spirit is supernatural. It doesn't come by the world system. It doesn't come by the way of man. It doesn't come because of your J-O-B. It comes supernaturally by the Spirit. That whatever you need, whatever you need, and it's not just about paying your bills. Whatever, you're, whatever you need to supply what is needed for the vision of God within you. Whatever resources you need. When you sow seeds, you are aligned with the currency of heaven. And what comes by the way of the Holy Spirit from heaven. The storehouse of heaven. And this is the last thing the Lord just told me to release for 5783. Some of you remember when I shared this, one of my friends, Serena, she shared this with me and I got this about, um, I think a year ago or two years ago called Friends of Eber. And this is about the alphabet, the Hebrew alphabet. And God speaks about the number three as in 5783. And it is Gimel or Gim, Gimel, Gimel. And I'm going to read this because this is so powerful okay and for those of you that are sowing a seed listen my moderators will post you just go to the link you go to the network link and you click on donate and there you can do if you're at, if you're requesting a cash app link or paypal or mailing address it's all there for you on that page glory to god i want to read this because it is very powerful we're going to go back into 5783. Number three means Gemel, and it represents the camel who carries the supply of heaven. He is running, walking, kneeling, and dealing bountifully to supply our needs, to truly help deliver the supply of heaven. We know in the word that it says, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches through Christ Jesus, right? So the Lord speaks about the camel and the camel is so sacred because again, a camel is a carrier of the supply of heaven. So when you see in visions or in dreams or hear someone prophesy about the camel that is coming, it is a representation of Gimel, which means the carrier of the supply of heaven and camels can carry up to a thousand pounds on its back it can carry a heavy weight of supply glory to god it is so powerful okay it says number three gimel g-i-m-e-l and then there is another pronunciation which is g-i-m-m-e-l it means the unending supply from the wild and limitless resources of the divine cord that runs into and through us like the umbilical cord of the mother right the umbilical cord that's attached to the placenta in the womb of the mother and it's into the babe that's fully growing and developing to be birth and so this says that number three, it also signifies the Holy Spirit, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because Aleph represents Abba, Father. And then the second alphabet, Bet, represents the Son of God. And number three, Gamal represents the Holy Spirit, who supplies what we need supernaturally, right? From heaven, from the storehouse of heaven. And so the Lord says, Gamal, Gamal is the unending supply from the wild and limitless resources coming out of what that spiritual umbilical cord that is connected to the womb of heaven the womb of heaven that is attached to you where you're rooted in christ and you're seated in heavenly places it delivers 
It's instantaneous payload for whatever and wherever the daily need may arise. Gimel, G-I-M-E-L, is the journey of Olam, which means it is the journey of dimensions and the journey of never-ending supply. Everything Yahweh is in you and everything you are in Him is supplied in Gemel, which represents again the Holy Spirit who releases what? The anointing over us when the Holy Spirit caused the tongues of fire to come upon the disciples that spoke in, in tongues that entered into the dimensions of the heavenly realms to receive revelation, wisdom, counsel, knowledge of the glory of God, of the nature of God. Shoo! So the Lord says, we're about to experience unbelievable treasures that come from what? The storehouse of heaven. And lastly, I'll leave you with this. Gimel, okay, where it says, it speaks of completion and government as seen in the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. It says, the camel represents the walking supply of heaven, which reminds me of the search for Isaac's bride. With 10 camels, the servant of Abraham approaches a well and finds a beautiful young woman that represents what? The bride. They're fetching water. Constantly in pursuit of the river of life. Come on. Here is Rebecca. She's what? Constantly in pursuit of drawing from the well, which is who? Yahweh. With the ten camels, the servant of Abraham approaches a well and finds a beautiful young woman fetching water. To his surprise, she gives him and his ten camels water. He knows she is the one to be Isaac's bride. Now here's what's powerful. The treasure the camels bore to give to the bride-to-be and her family are unloaded into her father's house, into her house, into her family, into her bloodline. Rebecca, the young woman, is then loaded up on a camel to be taken back to marry Isaac. Okay, so it says, daily Yahweh sends out his camels loaded with heavenly treasure. They come to those of us willing to give unto him. It says, he brings his burden bearers rest and restoration from their journey. In other words, our acknowledgement of, engagement with, and heart of gratitude for Yahweh's walking supply and their assignment will bring the manifest provision. Hallelujah. I know that's a lot. I know that's a lot tonight in this broadcast, but I wanted to make sure that this, this would be power packed with so much from what we're, what we've entered into now in 5783, the dynamic revelation of what that 83 represents. You know, we know 80 represents pay, right? The mouth. But God is not highlighting that right now. He's highlighting 83 and number 3. And he's talking about what he's about to release in its fullness. And what's coming from the storehouse of heaven that is all about what he deposited inside of us to serve his body to honor the ministry of the Holy Spirit upon our lives. Hallelujah. This is your year to greatly rise and release and establish what God has deposited within you. And you've waited and waited for years with lots of tears, lots of refinement, to experience the fullness of what he promised. And it is absolutely going to unfold like a red carpet. It is not going to be a struggle. You're going to see the hand of God carry it out. You're going to see the hand of God establish it. It is like, thank you, Lord. God's speaking to me right now, Ezekiel 34. Thank you, Jesus. Wow, a lot's coming out of Ezekiel in this broadcast tonight. 
Ezekiel 34. Hallelujah. I'm going to draw it down here. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Thank you, Holy Spirit. Here it is. One of my favorite verses. It's Ezekiel 34, but this is what the Lord just led me to say and ending this broadcast. Ezekiel 34, verse 25. I will make a covenant of peace with them and rid the land of savage beasts so that they may live in the wild and sleep in the forest in safety. I will make them the I will make them and the places surrounding my hill a blessing. I will send down showers in season. There will be showers of blessing. The trees will yield their fruit and the ground will yield its crops. The people will be secure in their land. They will know that I am the Lord when I break the bars of their yoke and rescue them from the hands of those who enslaved them. They will no longer be plundered by the nations nor will wild animals devour them. They will live in safety and no one will make them afraid. No one will make them afraid. Verse 29, I will provide for them a land renowned for its crops and they will no longer be victims of famine in the land or bear the scorn of the nations. Then they will know that I, the Lord their God, am with them and that they, the Israelites, my remnant are my people, declares the sovereign Lord. You are my sheep, my wild sheep, which means battering rams who live on the mountain. The sheep of my pasture, and I am your God, declares the sovereign Lord. Wow, that is such a word to meditate on. Ezekiel chapter 34, starting at verse 35. God speaks about making a new covenant of peace. No longer in a land of famine. No longer will beasts of the field be in your land. That talks about demonic strongholds. Demonic strongholds. That ta that's what the beasts represent. Demonic strongholds. Well, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and do this as we end this broadcast tonight. I'm praising God for all the all of you that were led by the Holy Spirit to sit and receive. And this is a lengthy broadcast because it's Monday night. Monday, it's going to be every Monday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. From now on, Monday manna, Monday night manna, every Monday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And every Tuesday morning, the morning stretch at 7 a.m., which I will be going live tomorrow at 7 a.m. There are times I will have a pre-recording if I have things that I have to do. But tomorrow I will be going live and we're going to have a powerful word and the way that the Holy Spirit's going to stretch us in a beautiful way to just remove all tension and make us more flexible. Glory to God. Okay. So how many of you that are still here, how many of you are truly blessed by this word from the Lord tonight? And again, I know we've gone two hours, but I just wanted to flow with the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Okay, let me look here. <sighs> Glory to your name. Wow, okay. Alan, is it... Alejandra? Oh, wow. Welcome. I, I haven't seen your name here before. So welcome. So welcome. So excited the Holy Spirit led you here. Praise God. Okay. Oh, Joshua, praise God. Please share this video with family and friends and all those of the remnant of Jesus' bride or living God in Jesus' name. Yes. Thank you. Yes, please. Please share this broadcast. It is absolutely to truly receive the teaching and ministry of the Holy Spirit through me. It is the teaching and ministry of the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Praise God, Tiffany. I have been truly, truly blessed. <laughs> 
Wow, Amy, lots of confirmation. That is so, so good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Joshua. Joshua is also um, one of my moderators, too, that comes on as well. Thank you, Joshua. For those who feel led to sow a free will... Okay, thank you. I can't even read this as I'm talking too fast. For those who feel led to sow a free will love seed offering into the glory of God's soil, use the link below. Praise God. Thank you, Joshua, so much for just posting that for those that are on the live feed. And of course, all this information to contact me, my email is on the description of this broadcast. Um, all the information is available for you. So contact info, sewing info is on the description. So in case you say, oh my goodness, I, I missed it. Okay. Praise God, Kat. I'm so glad you were blessed by the word of the Lord. Praise God, Deborah. Totally blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, I thought so, Alejandra. So you, this is your first time? Thank you. So I'm so glad. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shansi, that is so great. You should call Meatloaf Monday because this was some meat. <laughs> I love that, Shansi. I love that. That is so good. That's funny. Wow. Well, let, oh, praise God. I've been blessed greatly by this word. Thank you, Jesus. You guys, I'm so inspired when I see how the Lord is truly blessing you and, and you know, how you are really being blessed and inspired and edified and empowered by the Holy Spirit. Whoo! Danielle, this is all confirmation. That's, this is so great. Praise God. Oh, Big Jess, I was blessed today. Thank you, Jesus. Jewish B, yes, I'm glad I watched and engaged with this broadcast. Praise God. Well, welcome. I see new names, and I'm so glad the Lord led you to receive and just really be a part and joining in. And, and I'm praying that God will just absolutely grow a family, a community that wars together, prays together, weeps together, celebrates together, grows together, heals together. Come on, can I get an amen? That's what community is all about, that we war together, we weep together, we heal together, we are empowered together, we celebrate our, each person's harvest together. We, we do all this, and that's what, that's what the power of community and family is in the body of Christ. And when God truly brings forth a community where the Lord disciples and ministers, and we know it's the Holy Spirit, that is powerful. Oh, praise God, Amy, that you shared with your family. Thank you, Jesus. Wait, okay, H. West, in the year of the bamboo tree, we will not be bamboozled. Oh, that is so good. Oh, I love that. So blessed by this message. <laughs> that is a good one. We will not be bamboozled. Oh, I love this so much. Okay. <laughs> thank you danielle thank you for all those who are just helping um get the word out and and reach more people that the lord wants to draw here to the cimarron tribe praise god oh hey chris yes you're so welcome i'm so honored to serve i'm so honored to serve okay you guys Praise God. You can go back for the rest of the week to really bask in this word and sit with the Holy Spirit. And again, join me for those of you that can make it tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. is the morning stretch. And I will be uploading a short video telling you guys something that the Lord instructed me to do that God is actually releasing divine instruction in this, in this beginning of the year uh, that's just going to bless so many of you. And I'm going to share that. Um, probably on Tuesday night, I think I'm going to upload it after the morning stretch. So praise God. Thank you for all of you that truly, truly sow to kingdom seed that value the word of the Lord and what the Lord has imparted in your life tonight. I just praise God. Thank you for your love, your prayers, and your support of this ministry at the Cimarron tribe. Glory to God. 
God bless you guys. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he overshadow you in his shalom, his perfect peace, his perfect love, his protection, his provision in the name of Jesus. May you be anchored, rooted deeply in Christ Jesus, the hope of glory. Hallelujah.